I'm Catherine, I'm here at the Wayne Wayne Community Centre and I'm halfway through a face painting course. Um, I've done a face painting course here before actually and I found it's really beneficial for the people who take part because it builds their confidence. They're from very mixed backgrounds, some of them more experienced than others, but everybody comes away feeling that they are able to do something and it's something quite special because they can give back to their communities and in fact all of them to a person today said one of the reasons they wanted to learn face painting was to give something back to their community. Uh, when you put face painting on an advertisement it draws people in so if you're doing a community event with free face painting more people will come and have a lovely time uh, and people are aware of that. Um, there are some wonderful results coming out next door. People have got hidden talents and when they discover them, their confidence builds and they're ready to do more. And that's why I love doing it. Uh, my name's Karen Gibbs and I heard about the Aim and Hyde programme, so come as communities first. And the course I'm doing now is face painting, which I find really, really help helpful. It gives me um, good confidence and everything to help with my volunteering through play games and after school clubs and, and everything else. I'm on the rocky road, heading down off the mountain slope, and as my steps echo, echo, louder than before, another day is done, say goodbye to the setting sun, see what I found, turn back to the ground. Just like before And hey, hey Hey, 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 hey,
I've been working for the Aiming High program um, today now doing cake decorating class um, with some of these ladies who've been fantastic. The Aiming High program um, is from the Porth cluster of community first areas, um, which is a great project and you can learn some fantastic skills. Um, today the ladies have learned uh, how to ice a cake, um, royal icing, learn how to make cake, decorate the cake from start to finish. So they learn some skills that they can carry on at home now and pass on to their children as well. Never made a cake in my life. It's my first one. <laughs> so yeah. No deck, it's funny there. <laughs> and there's something going on. <laughs> Andy. Uh, I work for A3. I'm a health and social care tutor, assessor and internal verifier. We're on the last day of a five-day course, Introduction to the Care Sector, that was organised and arranged uh, with Community First. The main objective of the one-week course is to give uh, a a warts and all introduction to the care sector and the job role of a care worker. Um, the candidates that attended have all expressed an interest in working in the care sector. My job is to give them a warts and all uh, true reflection on what the care sector is all about and uh, what type of things they could expect uh, from working as a, as a care worker. Um, in addition to that, uh, all the candidates had an opportunity of achieving a nationally recognised qualification which will allow them uh, or will be useful to them in an interview situation. So what's important for us as employers is to be able to come along and actually meet individuals who are uh, interested in the sort of work that we are uh, um, recruiting for. Um, being an employee, uh, being, a, being a, someone who's looking for a job can be quite daunting. So actually coming along, speaking to people, tell them what to expect at interviews, the sort of jobs that, they, that are on offer, uh, will help them um, be more interviewable, if you like, and uh, may feel more at ease when they go along to interview. They'll have a, an idea of the sort of questions that they may be asked. And, uh, coming along and explaining about the jobs, then they'll understand more fully uh, what they're letting themselves in for, what sort of jobs that they're actually, they're actually applying for. So, courses like this not only give us the opportunity to uh, meet uh, people who want to do this job, but it also helps us to see how important these sort of courses are, and how important it is to have some um, background experience or qualifications that uh, will help them um, uh, get, get employment. Right, I used to work in the old people's home, but I wanted to get more to go through it because the old people's home I used to work in used to get the kid, people up to 7 o'clock and they didn't want to get up. But when I came here now, he told me that they didn't have to get up because they didn't head and I want to get more qualified now for when I go back into it. Hi, my name's Mark. Um, since I left school, I've basically worked in the food industry. We've known in the pharmaceutical industry for a few years back. Um, I've worked for the last 15, 16 years as management level. Um, beginning of this year, I started to have some stress and anxiety problems due to work I was doing. It basically burned me out. Um, 
and I decided that I couldn't go back to the more I built a pillow area down. So I looked around the community to see what help and assistance was available to me to retrain and get back into the job market. Um, I got in touch with Want to Work, who put me on this course. The main reasons for me going on the course were twofold. One to see if I'm interested in a career in care work, helping people, um, because I'm grateful for the help I've had this year. It's just one of the first times I've had to help, so I'd like to give a bit back and also to see that my confidence levels were okay for maybe going to college or university later and develop a new career. Um, it's been a good course. Andy, the, the trainer, has got a lot of knowledge and experience of what he teaches. Um, it's been an interesting week. I got to meet some really nice people and all in all I think it's been a really helpful and productive week for me. It's given me a better idea of what I need to do to go forward and get a new career. I've attended this care course um, that Community First have organised with A3 this week. Um, and realised the customers have considerably got something out of this course. Um, they're all very um, ready to be looking for work. I think they've got um, a very good background information of what the care industry entails, um, the different type of care workers involved. Um, they've been given a picture then of domiciliary care in the community, um, care working in homes and, and the differences between the two. Uh, many of these customers before coming here this week had issues with confidence, didn't know where to start, um, didn't know what qualifications were required to do the job. They've got a far clearer idea now that ordinary everyday people um, can take their personal skills and basically transfer it um, into something that can get them work at the end of the day. And this is what our partnership is about with Communities First, that we like to signpost our customers to them to give them these opportunities that they wouldn't necessarily get.